Hey there. Glenn Morris here from the Smart NG Lab. Today, I'm unboxing the SolarX X1 Vast. Yep, Vast because it's got a vast array of features. That's kind of how I think of it. It's right here. Now, this is a 10 kilowatt single phase unit. Really something that's excellent for the Australian market at the moment because people want big inverters, um, hybrid inverters, so they can have a battery system. Um, this can scale up to like 86 kilowatt hours of battery storage. So it's got a huge capacity range. And uh, on top of that, it's got two battery ports. So I'm really excited. This is sort of, excuse the pun, something out of the box when it comes to hybrid inverters as far as the ones I've seen so far. So let's get into the box. Okay. I do love a template. Something that you can uh, screw to the wall and get all your positions for any uh, mounting points that you need. Really nice. And look at that. On the back, <laughs> we've got uh, all of the ports being labeled. So uh, rather than have to sort of get down on the ground to try and read what they are, you can actually see them on the back here. So yeah, that's quite a nice feature. Thank you, SolarX. So what have we got here? The user manual, of course. Uh, now, a little bit of background here. SolarX is a company that I've known for a long time probably over five or six years here at the lab. I've been through generation one, two, three, four of their uh, hybrid inverters. And this is the latest iteration. Now, something that SolarX have done is learnt about the Australian market, learnt about what customers need and making products that really fit our, our, our market niche. So here's the installation manual. Um, it's nice to get a, a big fat manual rather than just a, a QR code that you scan. Here's our mounting bracket, which uh, aligns with the template that I just showed you. So uh, mounting bracket and little security tab. Now this is, uh, this is something uh, I rather like the look of. It's got a, a locking mechanism and a screw to secure it. So it requires a tool to undo. So this will be the uh, port connectors for AC, I'm expecting. So let's have a look. Okay, there's two of those. Wow, <laughs> there's a lot of bags in here. Okay, so uh, we've got some small screws. Uh, we've got some uh, crimp lugs here. Uh, we've got a CT. Now, the CT, I've learned about this uh, feature. The CT here is a bit clever. Uh, the software actually does an auto check uh, for orientation and position. And so uh, it can actually automatically correct for orientation. So if you get the, you know, the, the load and the line side around the wrong way, it will automatically correct that as part of the commissioning. But it can also detect if you put it in the wrong place. So it's not measuring what it should be measuring. So uh, pretty clever, that's the CT. Um, we've got a very large breaker here, uh, physically very large. So, this is switch disconnector, and it's 63 amp uh, single pole. And that's three position. So I'm guessing this is a bypass, I'm guessing, because it's three positions, off in the middle, on and on. Uh, we've got some uh, wall mounts, uh, plugs here, and screws. We've got spare connectors for uh, RJ45 and an extender for extending an RJ45. I suspect that's to do with the uh, CT. We've got um, a whole bunch of little uh, MC4 blanking plugs so that bugs don't crawl up into the holes in your uh, uh, inverter where all your plugs are. We've got some large connectors here. Uh, these, these are a slightly different type. So I think we've got some for PV, some for battery, I'm guessing. And what else we got here? And in here, this looks like the comms connectors. So we've got comms connectors and a dongle. So for connecting uh, your, oh, yeah, that's pretty cool. 
So it's a Wi-Fi and LAN. So it means you can use it, um, connect to your home Wi-Fi, but if you also have wired internet, which actually is the most reliable, you don't have to set a password. It's got a uh, RJ45 port here for wired uh, uh, internet, and there's the weatherproof cover for it as well. So that's the combo. It can be used as a wireless dongle or as a LAN dongle. And it's got a little QR code, which you'll be no doubt using as part of the commissioning process. So there's kind of all the small stuff. Um, now, there's one thing that I'm actually really impressed with in this box, apart from the fact that all the stuff you need is here. It's something that a lot of installers aren't aware of. Still, even though it's been in the standards ever since 2019, it's this. Now, you might go, hey, Glenn, what on earth are you talking about? What? What is, what is this thing? Well, this covers uh, along the bottom of the inverter all of the plug and socket connections. Now, it's a requirement in ASNZS 5139 that all of a uh, DVC-B or C battery cable, that means anything over 60 volts DC, must be mechanically protected completely, right from the point where it exits the battery system right up to where it enters the uh, inverter. And the problem is that most uh, inverters will have plugs on the bottom and you can't really put conduits over plugs. So this provides the mechanical protection uh, across the bottom. It also makes it look good, really neat. Rather than having a whole lot of cables all dangling down in the fresh air, you've got just a nice gray uh, cover uh, hiding it all. So uh, hats off to SolarX for coming up with this solution. Yeah, I'm impressed. Looking forward to installing it. So today we're unboxing the brand new Solar X X1 Vast 10 kilowatt single phase hybrid inverter. It's the latest evolution of this high performance home energy system from Solar X. This inverter combines energy management, scalability, and rock solid reliability, all in one, as you can see, sleek and waterproof design. So uh, it's IP66, therefore you can put it outdoors. Now it's got some features I want to run through, um, but you saw me unboxing it there. The packaging's very solid, it's well protected. I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, the uh, cardboard insert for mounting on the wall, I like that a lot, that's, that's a really nice feature. Of course, it's compliant with the Australian standard ASNZS 4777 part two. Uh, it also has uh, CSIP AUS compliance natively. Now, if you don't know what that acronym means, uh, in states like uh, South Australia, of Victoria, Queensland, and I believe soon New South Wales, uh, a feature allowing the network operator, your power supply company, to control your inverter when there's too much solar. And that's a feature known as, uh, depending on what state you're in, uh, South Australia flexible exports in uh, Victoria, emergency backstrop, and in Queensland dynamic export control. But uh, Basically, it's the technical standard, CSIP AUS, that means that by communication within 10 milliseconds, the uh, DNSP, the Distributed Network Service Provider, which is a bit of an acronym, uh, <laughs> a bit of a mouthful, uh, can actually control the output of your inverter. Mostly it's about ramping it down. Now you might think, I, I don't want them to do that. Well, uh, the benefit to you as an end user is they'll let you put a really big inverter on. This is a 10 kilowatt inverter. In fact, you can put 20 kilowatts of solar on this. It's got a 200% oversizing ratio for PV. Now, if you've got 20 kilowatts of solar on this, you can charge your battery at 10 kilowatts and you can invert and provide 10 kilowatts of AC power. Now, utilities are getting a little bit nervous about the amount of potential exports, so they often limit you. But with uh, CSIP AUS, they can limit you dynamically. So if there's a, um, an issue with too much renewables entering the grid in the middle of a sunny day, they can just ramp you down a bit. But most of the time, you're benefiting by having a bigger system. So that's pretty cool. Now, coming back to this hybrid inverter, it takes a high voltage lithium ion battery. Um, it's ideally uh, matched with some of SolarX's uh, TSYS uh, HS51s. So the HS51s are 5.1 kilowatt hours of usable capacity. Uh, that's really good. 
The, um, all the connectors here, very standard type of connectors, quick connectors that you can plug in. And I like the fact that the AC connectors actually have a, um, uh, a locking mechanism. Well, it's not just like, it's a requirement that you can't have any exposed live parts that you can access without a tool and a screw as a tool. So that's good. Uh, it comes with the manual as you saw and the warranty information. Now I just lifted it out of the box by myself, it's only 28 kilos, so it is a one person lift, but probably putting it on the wall it would be better to use two people just to make sure that you're being perfectly safe. So, um, what are some of the, the features that really stand out for me? Now I made a little list here because <laughs> there's so many of them. The first one, and I, I hinted at this earlier on, is it's got two battery ports. Yeah, two battery ports. And these are independent, so you can actually have different voltages on each battery port, different state of charge and different capacities. So the ability to expand uh, your storage is covered really well with having two battery ports. Uh, being single phase is great because most homes in Australia are single phase and being 10 kilowatts means it can do whole home backup. Now, Whole home backup is a bit of a buzzword. People often throw it around like, you know, oh yeah, my, my five kilowatt inverter uh, can do whole home backup. But actually, when you turn off the grid and you try to run appliances that have high inductive loads, like motors and pumps, not all inverters can cope with that inductive load when there's no grid to support it. This inverter can. This is designed for uh, inductive loads. So you might lose the grid. Uh, there's been a storm, the power goes out. This can still run things like your, you know, your water pumps and uh, your blenders and vacuum cleaners, uh, things that, that have an inductive load. So that's pretty cool. It's got a overload capacity of 200% for 10 seconds. Now, when they told me this, they said, oh, it's only for 10 seconds, Glenn. I said, 10 seconds is a long time for overload. Uh, overload really is like when you're turning on a big appliance and uh, it draws a lot of power. So typically that is a motor. A motor, when you first turn it on, is almost a short circuit as far as uh, the, the inverter is concerned. And so there's a big inrush of current. This can deliver 20 kilowatts for 10 seconds. So yeah, heaps, heaps of overload capacity. And that's really important for whole home backup. Uh, I mentioned it already, but the fact that it's a 10 kilowatt inverter kind of is misleading. It's a 10 and a 10. It's 10 kilowatts of DC charge to your batteries at the same time of 10 kilowatts of AC output to your loads. Hence why you want to have a lot of PV on this. And speaking of a lot of PV, this unit has four MPPTs. So it really suits uh, some of the modern homes with lots of different facets on the roof, um, different angles, because you've got to have all your panels uh, on each MPPT facing the same direction, uh, but your roof might have many directions. So that's really good. And also your string links can vary. You might have nine panels on one string and 13 on another and six on another, etc. And speaking of six panels, which is not many, this inverter can actually start as low as 50 volts. So, you know, gee, you could probably even put two panels on a string. I, I wouldn't advise it, but technically, if, with a startup voltage of just 50 volts, it'll start working uh, very, very early in the day. So the main benefit of having that low startup is squeezing that last little bit of renewable energy out of whatever light's available before the sun really comes up, just that um, low irradiance. I mentioned that it's still got native CSIP AUS, which is great. You don't need a third party to provide you with that service. Uh, that the uh, automatic CT installation, so it detects the installation is correctly orientated, and if it's not, it, it fixes it. But it also tells you if you've got it in the right place. And uh, something that I hadn't really known much about, when combined with the uh, HS51 battery modules, they have optimizers built into each battery module. Now, we'll look at those separately, but the, the battery modules are uh, 5.1 kilowatt hour units, but they connect in series. So as you stack them, you get more voltage. Now, when you have a series connection of batteries, it's normal that you have to have them at all the same state of charge when you connect them. And you know that's usually not a problem when you're buying them new. They're all coming uh, in a box. They're all coming from the factory at the same state of charge. But if you're adding batteries to a stack at a later stage, that can be a problem. Trying to get that new battery to the same state of charge as the ones that are already in there. Now, something that SolarX have done is built in a optimizer on each battery module that ensures that they can 
bring into balance. It does take a little bit of time, days probably, depending on how much out of uh, range the SOC is, but it can bring those battery modules back into balance even when they're connected in series. So that's a really nice feature for, for upgradability. Speaking of batteries, we're still looking at an inverter here, but I might as well mention it. Uh, their batteries actually have a fire suppressant built in. They have an aerosol fire suppressant built in, so uh, extra safety is a really good thing to have. Now lastly, uh, in terms of the features that really stand out for me, is something that is coming soon. Don't you love that? But it is. It's V to X. Now if you haven't heard this kind of acronym, V to G meaning uh, vehicle to grid, uh, how can you do that? Well, that one of these battery ports can be used as a V vehicle connection at DC. So you can connect the DC port on your vehicle using the standard uh, vehicle connector, uh, and it will then use the battery in your vehicle to power the inverter. And since the inverter can power your home as well, in backup as well as on grid, it can make your vehicle go to grid, or your vehicle go to home, or your vehicle go to load, i.e. the grid's down and you're just powering some loads. So V to X means everything, and that's coming soon. So those two battery ports are pretty clever. The fact that they can be a battery port or they can be V2X. Wow. Now, what else? Um, IP66, I mentioned that already, so it's ideal for outdoor use. It's got passive cooling. Now, that just means there's no fans. Uh, two big advantages with that is there's no noise. <laughs> so this thing's not gonna be humming away on your wall. And it also means no moving parts. And that means it's got a uh, very, very long service life. It, it's, it's the moving parts that will fail. And so a fan is something to uh, avoid if possible. The four uh, independent MPPTs have a rating of 20 amps with 200% PV oversizing, so they'll take the big panels. So you can put some of those larger panels with high currents on them. Remember, there is a formula in uh, ASNZS 5033 uh, 2021 for calculating the short circuit current rating of a PV array. You still need to do that, but you know, um, 20 amps of uh, input rating is, is excellent. The um, startup voltage at 50 volts really is a nice feature to have and so is the dual voltage on those batteries. So the battery ports being independent, the, the voltages can be completely different. So that's a, a pretty cool thing. They can also be connected uh, in a two in one splitter cable to add more batteries to a stack. So I think the limit for the stack height is about eight uh, battery modules, but you can actually add another six with a splitter. So it adds on uh, another six uh, in series. So you can actually get up to 86 kilowatt hours of storage on this unit uh, using both battery ports uh, and the uh, series extender. Wow, that's, that's pretty amazing. So uh, I've covered a lot already. The fact that you can provide an integration of solar, batteries, EV chargers, uh, even generators all managed under one system. So it has the ability to have a generator supply as well. Now when the grid drops, uh, the built-in UPS function switches really quick within 10 milliseconds. Now if you don't know what that means, it means you won't even see the lights flick. It's virtually instantaneous. That means you won't lose your internet. <laughs> so having that instantaneous backup is really a big advantage. Now I'm going to be doing a separate video on the uh, HS51 battery system, which is ideally paired with this inverter. So we'll talk more about that later on. And those batteries are uh, so-called safe lithium, the LFP, lithium ferrophosphate. And they come in uh, with this unit ranges from 10 kilowatt hours up to 86 kilowatt hours. So you can take advantage of the cheaper home batteries program and go big, uh, which seems to be uh, a thing to do these days. Anyway, uh, I hope you've enjoyed watching this unboxing of the Solar X, X1 Vast. And hang around, I'll be doing the battery unboxing next. Right, check it.